Hi, Sam. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank it's you great to have me. you. No, yeah. it's fantastic. Um, and Sam, uh, you're a member of the church, uh, but for those who might not know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so my name is Sam O'Kerr. I am married to Bethany. Yep. And I'm father to um, a young 11.5 month old. Um, I love that 11.5. Yeah, I'm very. I'm <laughs> that, that phase where I count. I the know, days. I know, I know. I um, know you are. She's gorgeous. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Yeah. So yeah, um, Eliana, she's lovely. Yeah. Bondle the joy. Yeah, she's a lovely little girl. And what do you do work-wise? Um, um, yes, I am a mechanical engineer. I yeah. work for a mobility company and I uh, oversee um, modification and overhaul projects um, yeah. for sort of rolling stock trains across the country. So yeah. I just travel across looking after such um, stuff. Brilliant. And then, Sam, uh, I've already said that you're a member of the church and you have been for around a year or so. Yeah, they're about to yeah. up here um, three years ago. They're about to yeah. um, sort of lived in different parts of the country yeah. with work, but I moved and set my roots down here about three, just past three years. Three years ago. Fantastic. And um, so tell us a little bit about uh, when you became a Christian. Right. So I um, I was raised in a Christian family, yeah. um, like a lot of people. Um, and, um, you know, my, my dad and mum um, set the very right rules, I would say, you know, yeah. the right environment to grow up. And I was a good boy. Um, <laughs> and um, I didn't I didn't stray from, you know, yeah. from the rules. Um, but I, 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 I connected with God differently, uh, probably more personally. Yeah. Um, towards my later teens. Um, so my mum led me to Christ when I was 13. Oh, that's lovely. And it was, it was, it was a very, very lovely experience. I, yeah. I knew what I was doing at the time. Yeah. Um, however, my relationship with God took a very personal um, turn as I yeah. got older and I started questioning why we did things. Yeah. Um, things within your family. Within the family. Yeah. Because my dad was actually a vicar in the Anglican church. Oh, right, okay. So, you know, we went to church quite often yeah. and there was evening service and there was midweek service. Yeah. And, you know, these things are very, very good yeah. when you get very um, into the activity and the work and not the spirit of it. Um, and I, I, I was, I got a bit carried away with just doing the things for for for, for, for the sake of doing them. Mm. Um, and the more I questioned those things, it, it drew me back to God and the reason why we had those services and the communion um, that, that that happened after that. So I found yeah. a way to connect with God outside um, the 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 almost like a, a way to. I was trying to rebel, yeah. Um, but that <laughs> that brought me back because I, I yeah. found that I, I I felt a deeper connection. Yeah. Um, not really following the yeah the routine, uh, but trying to achieve um, um, the relationship. So it's fair fair to say that you were finding a relationship outside of your parents and maybe the the structures or even what you felt were a slightly restrictive sense of having a relationship with God and finding your own personal relationship with God. Is that fair to say? Yeah. And I think the restriction was, I, I almost put those restrictions on myself right. because the, 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 the structure is good. Yeah. Um, but I became more concerned with the structure with that, and the timing of it rather than personal yeah. relationship. Right. And, you know, I, I fell out of love with the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and in, in my rebellion, I found, I found yeah. the love of God. Oh, I love that. In my rebellion, I found the love of God. I love that. So tell us um, the, what, the difference that uh, being a Christian or having a relationship with Jesus makes to you in your life. Um, it's the relationship. You know, that's, yeah. that's, and I don't, don't mean to just repeat that word over and over <laughs> no, again, but it is the relationship. <laughs> yeah. That relationship with God um, has it's just made a difference in the way I look at things mm -hmm. uh, and the way I approach things. Um, I do my very best to, do, you know, to be the best at anything I do. Yeah. Um, uh, just pursue excellence and, and because of of almost my expectations are to please God regardless of what the activity is yeah. and I try as much to strive for that and, and, and so it, 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 it almost allows me not to get tied down to the early expectations yeah. of, of, you know, whatever activity it is yeah. um, and allows me to almost try to please God in whatever it is and, and the benefit for me is that because I try to do that Almost like you almost go above and beyond most times yeah. um, for whatever you do, and yeah. people notice it. Um, and when people notice that, for me, that's almost the unique opportunity to share to share my yeah. faith with them because they ask um, and kind of say, "Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it because because they see a difference because, in yeah, you." Yeah, and so that difference, you almost God provides yeah. an opportunity for me to talk to people um, because yeah, um, they they see that you know you you seem to be driven by very different objectives. Right. Um, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Sam, thanks so much for coming and sharing us, uh, sharing with us a bit of your story today. Thank you very Thank much you. for having me.
So I really love what Sam shared with us this morning. Um, he talked a bit about his story, his, his personal journey, he talked about growing up in a Christian home, but ultimately having to find a personal relationship with Jesus himself. And that is the most precious thing that he, he recognised that comes a point where it's not just following a set of rules or processes or structures. It's actually coming into relationship with the living God that transforms you. And that's what Sam shared, that it's transformed his life. In every area of his life, he uh, is looking to Jesus um, rather than to um, different rules and regulations in the world. And today, uh, then you might be listening to or have been listening to Sam's story or even something throughout the service and something's resonating in you and you're really wanting to find out more. Or maybe today you think, I want that. I want that personal relationship with Jesus. I want something in my life to change. I want to know true freedom, love, joy, peace. I want to know that no matter the circumstances that I'm living in, including the circumstance that we're all living through at the moment, that I can... Um, I can respond in a different way. I can react and have different attitudes that come purely from knowing Jesus and having a personal relationship with him. So um, Jesus died on the cross for each one of us. He died for our sins. He took our sin and shame. He carried those instead of us having to carry them. But he rose again and he promises us through a relationship with him, eternal life with him. And the sin is such a strange word. It's a word that we're not always most comfortable with now in our world. But it, all it means is that separation from us and God, the things in the past that we've done that have separated us from God. And this morning, if you want to be in personal relationship with God, again, if you want to and reconcile with God, if you want to repent of the past and have a whole new future, a future that is full of peace and joy and love and hope and forgiveness, then I'd love to invite you to pray this prayer with me. Father God, I want to thank you that Jesus died and rose again for me. Thank you that he died so that my sin and my shame could be taken. Thank you that I can be reconciled with him. I thank you that if I repent and I repent this morning of the uh, sins from my past and I give you my future and I ask you this morning to take the reins and control of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done and I acknowledge you this morning as my Lord and Saviour. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer with me, we're so excited for you. And you have joined a, a family of Christians. And uh, we want to support you, encourage you. We want to give you some resources. We want to pray with you. So I encourage you to click the link in the description on the screen. And um, someone from the church, from New Life Church, will get in touch and have a conversation. But you may not have met, prayed that prayer this morning. And you may have questions, and that's great too. And we would love to answer those questions. So again, please uh, click the link in the description and we'll be in touch again. Thank you. Hey YouTube, thanks so much for checking us out today. Here are three ways you can take a next step with us. One, find out more about who Jesus is. Two, connect in with our community online. And three, help continue our mission by supporting us through giving. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. We hope you're enjoying 